So apparently a lot of people got upset with my last post. And with my last post, what I was trying to do, I was trying to prove a point that you can use heat on a regular basis and still retain length. Like you can still have healthy hair, still retain length with using heat on a regular basis with heat training, loosening your curl pattern naturally with the use of heat without using any chemicals. So like this comment right here. So heat training is not for people who value their wearing their hair in a curly state in their natural virgin state. Heat training is not for those people who value their natural curls and they don't want any alterations to their hair. That's not who heat training is for. Heat training are for people who, for example, like me, who I do not want to use chemicals in my hair, but I want to be a straight natural and I don't want my hair to be reverting in the summer heat. Like I live in Atlanta, Georgia, it gets really hot and humid here and I heat train my hair to a point where it's almost like a relaxer when it's wet because I don't want my hair to revert in the hot summer heat and it does not revert. Having no problem retaining any type of length or anything in my hair. My hair is super healthy. So, um, heat training are for people like me who want to wear their hair straight without the hum dealing with the um, poofiness and the humidity. Also, for people who are considering, for example, um, texturizing their hair or using a relaxer or using any type of chemical straighteners like maybe Japanese chemical straighteners or things like that. So you wanna, you're you thinking about, you're on a verge of, oh, I'm thinking about relaxing my hair, but I really don't want to. That's what heat training is for. And also heat training is just for people who may not want to spend a lot of time on wash day because there are levels to heat training. Like you may not want to spend a lot of time detangling your hair and things like that. So you can um, heat train your hair just a little. You can heat train your hair to the point where, like me, where, to the point where it's like a relaxing when it's straight. So there are levels to heat training <clears throat> and there are a lot of reasons why people do it and I stand behind heat training because I think it's an excellent, excellent alternative to using chemicals in your hair. You, it's not necessary. You can naturally loosen your hair curl pattern with the use of heat. So if you want more information about heat training, make sure you follow me because I'm going to be talking more about heat training, the proper products that you should be using, the ingredients to look for, um, the type of heating tools that you should use. You can't just jump in and just be using heat willy-nilly because there's a process to it so that you won't have split ends, damage, and breakage. Um, your hair won't be falling out. <laughs> so that's not what you want when you're heat training your hair. So I'm going to be talking more about that. I'm going to be talking more about my book and different topics in my book, Heat Training 101. So yeah, follow me if you're interested in more heat training information.